Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your transmission fluid on your 2002 to 2005 Honda Civic Si. This process is not limited to this certain year model. Um, it's the same for most Hondas and Acras. So the materials you're going to need are a drain pan, some MTF. I decided to go with Amsoil Synchro Mesh. You can use Honda manual transmission fluid, that's fine. Um, you're going to need a 17mm socket, a 3H inch ratchet, and something to fill your transmission fluid with. So to fill your transmission fluid, O'Reilly and AutoZone has a funnel and tube contraption that you can use, but I decided to go to my local hardware store and buy a tube and use a, an existing funnel that I already have. First, jack the car and place it on jack stands. You need to jack up both the front and the back and place all four corners on jack stands. Take out the front driver's side wheel to expose the drain and fill bolts of the transmission fluid. This is the fill bolt. It's a little deep in but it stands out and it's pretty easy to spot. This is going to be where you're going to be pouring in the transmission fluid. The bolt with the square pattern in it is the drain bolt. You just need to stick your 3 inch inch ratchet in there to loosen it. Before you take off the drain bolt, you're going to need to take off the fill bolt first because if you drain the fluid and you can't take off the fill bolt, then the car is going to be unjoyable until you can find a solution. So once the fill bolt is off, you can now take off the drain bolt and let the transmission fluid drain out. Tighten the drain bolt once all the fluid has drained out using a new crush washer. You can reuse your old one, but I would recommend replacing it just to be safe. So now you can start filling your transmission with your new transmission fluid. I routed my tube down my engine bay into the fill hole on the transmission. Um, to fill, just pour the manual transmission fluid into the funnel and it will flow down the tube into the hole. Make sure the fluid actually goes in and isn't spilling out. EP3 is going to take a little less than 2 quarts of transmission fluid and basically you just want to fill it up until it, it overflows. Replace the crush washer on the fill bowl if you can and tighten it. Put your hands on, lower your car, and then you're done. Make sure you take your news fluid to your local automotive store to be recycled and good luck.